DJI Matrice 600 Pro. It's got six different batteries and that's what these guys are right there. You can see all the carbon fiber on it. That keeps it light. Uh, the aircraft itself only weighs about 12 pounds. These are three GPS antennas and they're just a GPS antenna that connects to the satellites up in the sky. Um, we've got three of them so that allows the aircraft to be I guess extra precise would be the way of explaining it. And the aircraft is talking to the satellites and at the same time the aircraft is talking to the controller. So you basically have control of the aircraft in two different ways, right? We're controlling it but then at the same time if something were to go kaput on our end we've got the satellites in the sky controlling it, keeping it in place and then if there was a malfunction um, the computer system inside the aircraft would then return to home and it would come right right on back because it's being it's being piloted in a sense by the GPS units so that's what you see up there we use this platform to do IR work the IR work is done uh, IR infrared is done with the with the uh, camera down the front of it it has two different cameras in it one is an EO which is electronic optic and that's your video feed that you see like a movie camera and the other one is an IR camera the infrared that really seems to be the bread and butter of this we're able to get up locate hot spots cross the line in the line so whether we're mopping up and we're helping a say a hotshot crew mop up we're able to give them a very precise lat and long of where that heat is and they can go directly to it we're able to fly over it and let them know right away if there's a spot across the line or not it's it's always recording and it's always getting a good shot I mean, like I said that's the bread and butter that, that's where this thing really pays off in addition we do have the capability of doing aerial ignition with the Ignis 2 uh, the Ignis 2 is a, a hopper a dispenser a plastic sphere dispenser and that's made by a company called drone amplified and we're gonna be getting that set up right now um, and that's pretty awesome because then we're able to be like that that deep guy in on the on the hotshot crew right you know you get people on the line building depth well this guy's able to go much farther and this guy's able to go in terrain that would be much more difficult to to work in or to walk in um, I have a lot more fuel in the capacity of the plastic spheres than the drip torch that the firefighter would be be carrying with so um, that really seems to be a big draw when we're working with hotshot crews because they're not able or they're able to put a good line in without beating up their guys and so the efficiency and the amount of you know line that we can actually build depth off of is much greater than if they were just doing it by themselves so these are the plastic spheres they're referred to as dragon eggs and there's a potassium permanganate that's inside of them and I'll throw these in as well and they go in there, there's an auger that's inside the hopper and the uh, auger keeps the balls moving into the chute once the balls are in the chute. So once the balls are into the chute they've been they've been injected with glycol and now in a couple of seconds and it's being timed on the tablet um, and that's gonna how, how we're gonna know how fast they ignite. We're keeping our feet over it because they have a tendency to pop and they'll go flying. Woo! See, just like that. As a reminder, if you fly, we can't. During emergency situations like wildfires, temporary flight restrictions are placed over the area. That is to protect the pilots of the helicopters, planes, and our UAS pilots that are flying over the fire. 
if you fly your aircraft or your drone into a temporary flight restriction, you can adversely affect fire operations because if a civilian drone or aircraft is flown over a temporary flight restricted area, all firefighting aircraft need to sit down until the airspace is cleared. Please do your part to protect our pilots.